Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Raymo Orr and in this video I want to talk about why we still have wars but from a spiritual perspective. So I don't know some of you are probably students of Bashar you've probably seen some of his materials and Bashar says that all worlds and all universes and all choices come to pass in the multiverse and that means that the only thing that separates our world from still having wars and other worlds or other alternative timelines is our own consciousness and our own level of experience. So what does that actually mean? It means that in some way the inner battle within us as human beings has to show itself in the outside world. So the inner hate that we have, racism that we have, you know, violence that we still have within ourselves has to be shown and expressed because it's a vibration. And in the spiritual world, there's a rule that says as above as below. So that means everything is a reflection of our inner truth. So for example, why are animals still eating other animals? Why is the weather of the world constantly changing and shifting now between too hot, too cold, more tornadoes, more volcano eruptions, more earthquakes than ever before? All these things happen because within us, within human beings, we are still not as perfect and happy and tranquil and peaceful as we would like to be. So the question that comes up is, okay, but why am I still on this timeline? If I have made the work and I feel that I'm a peaceful individual, the peaceful warrior, and I feel like I don't belong here because this place is full of hate and racism, you know, and wars and everything like that. And don't really understand what's going on. I've done the work. So you're here because it's a perfect plan and there's something that you can't see. It's either that your ego is telling you that you've done the work, but there's still work to be done. Maybe you have a job here that you don't understand. Maybe you came here in order to help someone. Maybe you came here to give birth to a child that's going to help humanity. Maybe you're here to assist your friends, your colleagues. Maybe you're here to enlighten others. Maybe the timeline will shift when you are ready to shift. You know, this puts a lot of responsibility on us, I know. But maybe when we change our mind about what we see around us and we do becoming that loving, amazing people that we always aspire to be, maybe the timeline will actually shift. I can tell you that I'm in the zone right now. I'm like in Israel. And this is where we believe the third world war is going to come from, right? Israel and Hamas right now, and then Iran that's joining and other countries and Russia is going to join and India is going to join and China is going to join and South Korea and North Korea and United States. It's going to be a big movie right here. So I'm asking myself constantly, I'm one of the only spiritual guides in Israel that actually has a YouTube channel that goes out and teaches workshops around the world and, and talks about these type of things. And I understand the hate that you know, Arabs have towards Jews. And I don't want to elaborate about that right now. So the point is that everything is expressed. If you already have kids, then you understand that everything you see within them is within yourself, right? They're just a reflection. Every curse word that they have, it's because of you. Every time you did something wrong in front of them, they caught up to it. And they, you know, just like a sponge, they absorbed it and then it became a part of them. So you can see yourself as a reflection. So the world is at war to show us what we don't really want. And this is a, a beautiful sentence that I like to say. You are here to learn as a soul, not new things, but you are here to learn what you are not so you can understand what you are. You are not violence, but you are here to learn violence, even if you just see it on TV, in order to learn that you are not violence, in order to return to that sacred home that wonderful sensation, that non-dual experience of, of godness and consciousness, you know? So war is one of those things that's going to remind you of what you are not. And that's why we don't like war. You know who likes war? The darkness likes war, right? It's about money, it's about influence, it's about a lot of people that are dying, you know? Maybe I'll make a whole different video about that. But the point here is, that if there's war going out outside, then there's war going on inside. 
So you have to ask yourself, why in your universe there's still war going out outside? And what is that reflection telling you? Because it's trying to tell you something. Something inside is still disaligned. What is it? When you fix that, when I fix that, when we heal that together, you will see that the war outside is not going to exist anymore. There won't be a reason for that. There will be something else that is teaching us, but it will not be as harsh and as hard. The last thing I want to say, and this is again a teaching of Bashar, he says that the timelines are very, very close to one another. But when a train leaves the timeline, it takes a little bit more effort to make the jump from one timeline to the other timeline. And the jumping itself, he says, is done by a conscious choice, where I choose to be. So if we make a conscious choice, together or alone, that we choose to be in a society that is fulfilling, that is happy, that is tranquil, that is accepting, that is in unity, and we begin to behave like we're already living in that type of society, that's the way we can change the world together. And it does take effort because most people are just not there yet. But we can be a beacon of light and give example of being better people and experiencing better types of consciousness and better and loving and accepting people. Namaste, my friends. I bid you farewell. If you enjoyed my materials, please like and subscribe to my channel.